types of wetlands in North Carolina. Presented by ncwetlands.org. North Carolina has many different wetland types. This is partly because the land changes as one travels from one end of the state to the other. We have three main ecoregions, mountains, Piedmont, and coastal plain. Some kinds of wetlands are found all across the state and some kinds are only found in one ecoregion, like the mountain bog and the salt marsh. Statewide wetlands. Riverine forest wetlands include swamps, bottomland hardwoods, and floodplain pools where flooding from a nearby stream or river is an important water source. These wetlands have large trees, small shrubs, and other non-woody plants and they provide important habitat for many animals. Basin wetlands form in natural depressions surrounded by uplands, where they hold rainwater and provide habitat for a range of woody and herbaceous plants. Seasonally wet basins are important breeding areas for amphibians, as predatory fish cannot survive when the basins dry up. Seeps are located along slopes, ridges, or hillsides, and are kept semi-permanently to permanently wet by groundwater. Seeps are usually forested, but may transition to a different wetland type. Freshwater marshes are in flat areas with standing water or soaked soil most of the time, and they are dominated by non-woody plants. They often result from disturbances such as fire, beaver activity, or utility line maintenance. Mountain wetlands. Mountain bogs are found in relatively flat spaces at the bases of mountains. Long-term wetness and acidic soil create habitat for unusual plants like sphagnum moss and pitcher plants. Coastal plain wetlands. Salt and brackish marshes are regularly flooded by salty ocean tides. The primary vegetation is grasses and rushes, mostly salt marsh, cord grass, and black needle rush. These wetlands are very important for lessening storm damage in coastal communities and hosting fish and shellfish that are used for food. Estuarine woody wetlands are found on the edges of estuaries and salt marshes, occasionally flooded with ocean tides during storms. They mostly have woody vegetation like pines, cedars, wax myrtles, and saltbush. Pine savannas and pine flat wetlands occur on very flat surfaces with poor drainage and high water tables. Pines grow well in their sandy mineral soils, and so do many flowering plants. These wetlands are often planted with pine trees for harvesting and managed which results in low species diversity. Pocosins, or swamps on a hill, form atop broad mounds of dead plants that break down very slowly because of acid water and soil. The primary water source is frequent rain and poor drainage creates a high water table. Pond pines grow along with very dense waxy evergreen shrubs in Pocosins. Non-riverine swamp forests are found in flat areas between streams and are dominated by trees like bald cypress, black gum, Atlantic white cedar, loblolly pine, and fawn pine. Water usually comes from groundwater, rain, and surface runoff, and not from flooding from a stream or river. Something unusual in the coastal plain. Carolina Bays. Carolina bays are not a wetland type, but are mysterious elliptical landscape features in the coastal plain that can host a variety of wetland types, Pocosin, marsh, swamp forest. Named for the bay trees that grow there, 
They are important habitat for animals and tend to have high species diversity. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about North Carolina's wonderful wetlands. To find out more, visit our website at www.ncwetlands.org. And to learn more about Carolina Bays, watch our video.